Hi, welcome to Lady Mary Beth. Today we're going to talk all about Goodwill shopping opportunities. First, we'll start with a Goodwill store. As you know, Goodwill is a treasure trove for bargain hunters, but there are a few tips and tricks that you might want to learn to enhance your shopping experience. First of all, when you walk in the store, you will see a sign or a poster that lists the color of the week. For example, if it's yellow, then you would look for the yellow items. Clothing would have the yellow plastic sticking out, or an article uh, such as a DVD or housewares would have the actual sticker would represent that color. 75% off on Mondays and then it changes throughout the week. On Wednesdays, first responders, active duty military, veterans, teachers get 25% off as well as seniors 55 and older. So that's something to remember if you fall into one of those categories. And another tip is to look for the carts that roll out. Sometimes they're actually unattended. They wheel them out and they take a break before they put them on the shelves. That's a perfect opportunity to go cart diving to see what you can find before it hits the shelves. Another tip is to peruse all of the aisles. You may find that you've purchased a set of glassware and housewares and there's one more glass that's a straggler that might be in seasonal. That's very important to look in all areas of the store. For example, this week I found a Vera Bradley tote bag that was in the children's section with socks. So make sure that you look in all areas of the store to maximize your shopping experience. And another great tip is if you are knowledgeable about a certain product or brand and you feel that it's overpriced but you really want to take it home today, you can find like, kind, and quality on eBay, for example. Ask the manager if he or she would consider reducing the price because maybe it just got overpriced when they ticketed the item. And this week I was lucky, I found a Royal Dalton pedestal bowl that is porcelain. It was $24.99, more than I wanted to pay. I found a similar item on eBay and they reduced the price to $5.99. This is the Royal Dalton bowl that I found that was overpriced in my opinion and they reduced it from $24.99 to $5.99. And the next day I popped in again just to see if there's something I missed and I found this Luminara LED pillar candle that was in sort of new packaging. There was some missing. Remote control operated and this was $7.99, so for very little money, I have a nice look for my coffee table. The blouses and shirts at Goodwill are organized by color instead of size, so you'll need to look through anything that piques your interest to check to see if that might be your size. It is pretty to see all the colors, but I do wish that it would be easier to find a size. Lots of powerful reds, and you'll see some nice brands like Ann Taylor Loft, Calvin Klein, Cabby, Coldwater Creek. Sometimes if you get really well versed with Goodwill shopping, you will just walk past, oh that's a pretty one, look at the colors, oh I hope that's my size, oh no, I would love that. But sometimes you just walk past something and the quality, it just catches your eye and wouldn't you know, it's one of your favorite brands. So it's just a little bit of work in the beginning. And if you've got plenty of time, then it's not a problem. That's a nice neutral. It would be fun for someone really tall. So just take your time. And the pants, surprisingly, are categorized by size for the most part, which makes it a lot easier. The blue and white classic from Talbot's. Lovely. I think I will try those on, see if those fit. I've bought DKNY, cabbie jeans. It looks like the Little Mermaid has lost her wedding gown. It's definitely very unique. I'm sure the bride was the talk of the island. I can imagine it must have been a destination wedding. And it looks like the mother of the bride also donated her gown at the same time. They definitely blend well together. That has to be the most unique wedding gown I've ever seen. So the top is a little bit loomy. I quite like it. The ruffles are a nice touch. It's really hard for me to find ruffles these days and I think it complements me. That just adds another element. I could have my seamstress tighten it up in the back a little bit. Um, probably not necessary, but that's a thought. I will get this for sure because I love the classic blue. The pants are a little roomy. I might get those as well. They need to be taken out because they should be three quarters and with me not being so tall, it actually does look bad. But I like it. I really like the look. And maybe not necessarily together. And it's a yellow tag. 
I just noticed that. That means that I get an additional discount. Oh, the crystal is beautiful. That is quite something amazing price. I do like to look in the locked cases. That is a small Orifers Swedish Corona Bowl for $6.99. That is a steal. This is an even better deal. That would sell for probably over $200 at an antique shop. It is about 100 years old. What a find. That's made by Gorham and it's a porcelain pedestal bowl. I really like it. It would go with my living room, but I don't really want to pay $24.99 at Goodwill. So I looked up something similar on eBay and the associate was able to speak with the manager and reduce the price to $5.99. And here we have some vases. That's lovely. That's a really nice presentation if you're creating a centerpiece. And for those that are helping their students with new dorms or a new apartment, this is a perfect place to shop for artwork. You can find something that fits their interest and is very affordable. The baskets are great. If you're bringing a care basket to someone in the hospital, you could put a nice even napkin that you find on clearance as a liner and fill it with magazines and socks and lotion and anything else that you think they might need. Lots of mugs. You're never alone with a bar of chocolate. So true. They always have interesting quirky things and seasonal is all year long. These remind me of the Aura First Intermezzo glasses, but they are just glass, they're not crystal. These were very affordable. I like the red. It looks elegant and expensive, and that would go with so many holidays. Very well done. I hope that someone takes those home. And that is a pressed glass that's very pretty. It's nice to pick it up and feel it too, just to um, determine the weight. Lots of pottery and dishes and china. The blue willow is wonderful and that's the classic blue, Pantone color of the year, perfect. So just run through, you may find something that matches your pattern or a vintage piece that will help you celebrate a certain themed event. The vases are great. You might find some silk flowers, very affordable. And I would never pay retail for a simple florist base. I definitely would shop Goodwill. That looks like it might have been a bridal bouquet. I think I will take that home and use that for a future event with the pinks and greens. You never know what you'll find at Goodwill. They had quite an assortment of these tall candles. Oh my, those make a statement. And this I think was a great deal. See, it's in a box, you can re-gift it. It's perfect with the scent chips. Five Port Mirian plates for, I believe, $9.99. That was a steal. They're brand new, made in England. These are great for Christmas. They fit votives or taper candles. So I'll save that for a special someone next holiday. And the candlesticks. These are crystal in a tulip shape, cut crystal. They were $1.99 for each. So you, I don't know why they price it separately, but they sometimes do. 